Hello everybody, welcome to Jackson's videos. And me too. And Reese's videos, where we're <laughs> going to make the Tritcher. We're gonna install the IKEA blackout shades here. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go about doing this. And Jackson's gonna lead us through it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that we just pull it down here. And to get it back up, you push it down a little. Just slide it back up. Design in its simplicity. So you get a box that looks like this. What do you get inside of it, Jax? Um, one of these curtains or shades. And what's this, Reese? That is instructions. This is instructions. Read it carefully beforehand, right? Woo! Inside the box, we got what, Jax? We got um, little metal pieces. We got little metal pieces that hold things up right here. Little Close metal pieces that up. look like this. I'm going to explain why we're doing this. One of the reasons why we're using this in the RV is because it seemed like the fastest and easiest way to replace what was here before. Since we added a loft to our Class A motorhome, we wanted to replace the, the rails that were here beforehand. And so we decided to do three shades on the front overlapping each other and then two shades that are going to be on the windows. We don't have the two shades yet. We will here soon. All right, so let's dive into actually getting this installed. It's really quite simple. For us, we're going to take our brackets, which can be mounted two different ways, and we're actually going to screw them straight up to the top. Now, it's really important that you measure carefully when you do this, right? Yeah, it says on instructions. We're going to put these in front. Here's a screw. Uh, I need, I need a drill. And you always do this with a partner. Always do this with a partner. Another screw? There you go. I'm just joking, we're really not measuring very well. Okay, we've installed our brackets on the top there, and I know I didn't measure. I just put them somewhere where they're going to balance out the weight effectively. Now we're actually going to put this piece on. What's nice about these brackets is they actually have some spring to them. And what we're going to do is just push against it and get the... and lock it into the groove. It's really quite simple. And I'm going to show by pushing this little spring part that goes in. That's what we're talking about. Okay, put the front end first. Push back and it gets locked in. Like that. What's nice is you can then also slide it back and forth afterwards. So there's some give, so we can kind of center it how we want. We need to pull off this plastic before we have to put it on these screens. And I'll help pull it off. Wow, this is sticky. No. I can't it's on. Okay, first, hold on. You gotta first get this in. There you go. Got one in. Oh, you gotta then run down the line like it's a Ziploc bag. So now let's get the other side in. I'll hold this in place, Jackson. You look on the other side. You gotta look at what you're doing. Put it over it. Got that on there now. You just kind of have to work your way across like this. Get it all on that bar. Now, Jackson, you wanna do the corners? And we just, it just clicks in. There it goes. Like that. Okay, now let's pull them down. One, pull them down really well. two, and let them go. 